Hello from Slovenia again. I will do a double dip technique today and I have this MDF boards that I taped on the back because this technique kind of works better on the solid um, uh, <laughs> solid uh, background, not background solid thing not on canvas because you can press more I don't know like you want so and I will do one with the copper background I will add copper on this one and one I will do on gold. I I want to see how this will work, if this will make any difference, if I use two different backgrounds. I never done this before on a different ones. So let's see what will happen. I will just spread this just a second have to <coughs> wipe my palette knife because I will use the gold background on the second one this is um, uh, the Quart Americana 24 karat gold and for the copper uh, I have the Quart Extreme Sheen copper so, so I'm hoping for some lacing out of this uh, paints too because they tend to lace sell so hopefully we will came out with something nice. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. You <clears throat> have this uh, plan in your head, but not necessarily that it will work like you thought that it would. Okay. Storch just a little bit for the air bubbles. Okay, and now I will drizzle some paint and I will start with this phthalo Prussian blue from Amsterdam and I will just drizzle some paint maybe I should go just one and then the, ne the next one so I chose the colors that should go well with both of those backgrounds, so hopefully. And I will of course use some pearl white mixture. For some more lacing or whatever. And I will use this Pebeo iridescent green blue. And some decor deep sapphire. And now I will add a little of this copper here and a little bit of gold on the copper. <laughs> I don't know what this will look like. And 
and some Amsterdam greenish blue. And I will add some black too. Just to maybe add some depth or something. This can turn out as total disaster. We will see. Uh, I will just put my cups to the side because I need the space to put these two together obviously so I will just put one on top of each other and press and yes you will lose some paint because of that pressing part but that creates that um, kind of tree effects so and there is a lot of suction and what I love to do is tear this apart or how can I say slowly and here they are not much of a difference you see one is copper and one is gold I didn't get any mixing kind of um, and I dripped on this one I have to do this okay they are different aren't they torch a little bit I don't know where my white is because I don't see almost any white but I like those kind of tree looking thing so I see some copper here but otherwise you see not they are not mixing with each other even though that I have um, two background colors so let me take you down for a close-up sorry guys always struggling with this part bear with me Oop almost throw my camera okay so here they are I think that I like this gold one more but you see these are the effects that you get almost like a tree looking effects or I don't know, maybe now I like the the bronze one more. There is there are beautiful things here. You see it's more almost like you would paint a tree or something, you see? I get a little weird thing here but I will not mess around with it. I will just leave it. I really love this this part here. And but here I got 
on the gold one I got more lacing than on the copper one but still I will put a coat of resin when they will resin when they will be dry so I think that they will create quite an interesting duo <laughs> I hope so so this is just an easy technique to get an abstract painting just with dipping drizzling some paint and dipping to wooden plates or tiles or you can use canvases but as I said it's easier with a solid thing so I have to say that I like it tell me what you think do you like them too or maybe not uh, so this was it for today and see you on the next one bye